Hi, I'm Dan, and this is the Gardener Project, where I am going to do my best to demonstrate how to assign MIDI channels to um, multiple instruments in a VST, uh, such as this one. I guess the first thing to do is to choose your instrument. I was thinking tuba would be great. Add the tuba, let it load, and it's loaded. Uh, if you click on mixer here, you'll notice the bus, uh, the first bus here is activated. It sliders up at 0 dB and uh, abbreviation of the instrument. And you got an omni input. Um, anyway, so for assigning individual MIDI controls, um, we'll assign this a, a channel name, just channel 1, and um, next thing to do that I found that, uh, is to go into settings for that plugin, and you can use other plugins too, like Addictive Drums or Addictive Keys. Um, that have multiple uh, MIDI uh, channels for their instruments. And you will select import one. And in this window here, that's all you got to do the whole time. You don't have to mess with this window again. That's it. Click on processing to auto map the outputs. You know, just click on that like I did and Obviously, you can manually set them if you just so desire, but that's important to know where your sound's going. Back to the plugin, and I will select a different output besides the main one. Just you can keep it on the main one, I suppose, but if you individualize the outputs, then that way. Uh, the instrument that you, uh, I mean, I guess if you only use the one instrument track for that insert, I guess it really doesn't matter because it's kind of its own. It's like, well, yeah, I guess it really is. It's, it's output one and two. And so this is three and four. It's just called L or main and yeah, left, right, but it, it's one and two. So um, I'll do that and get this out of the way temporarily go to the channel rack go to add actually and MIDI out MIDI out tab is there um, press a key nothing's happening oh no what 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 happened what's going on so we changed our input, so we need to um, select the same port as what we chose in the settings for this VST. So all you've all of your additional MIDI out channels that you create are going to be port one because that's what your this um, VST is. If you had another VST where you're doing this, and you would do port two so on and so forth and then we named the first instrument here channel one so MIDI outs already defaulted at channel one so that's great and we got MIDI out activated in the channel rack let's see what happens let me push a key now yay it works now there's these cool knobs here to automate different parameters. Click on configure, um, call it the tuba, and TB. Now it just so happens I know that controller 7 is main volume. Um, and I'll get to those MIDI controls real quick. The important thing right here is even though this con this knob you're setting controls for is in this MIDI out selected for channel one, 
if you don't select the control knob to a specific channel, it won't work like you think it will. You could actually, you'll end, if you had multiple MIDI out track or channels, then and you selected the wrong one for this knob, this knob would actually active, would work on a different uh, MIDI out for a different, a different instrument that you had assigned. So make sure your knobs are assigned to the appropriate channels. Now it's still, it's still making it sound like normal. It's not until you actually move the knob, you gotta jiggle the knob, then it activates. As such. So now we'll go to the I'll go over to the plugin VST here. You go down to uh, not browse presets, but rather browse parameters. F9 to get rid of the mixer, and you'll see over here uh, the different MIDI controls for your different um, the different things that your particular VST is capable of, such as sustained and uh, for like pianos or instruments too. Um, balance pan. Uh, I guess balance is kind of like panning. I'm not sure what the it's got pan and balance. Hmm, I don't know. Must be doing something. Other than, that the other doesn't, but or or it activates a different section of the VST or something. So anyway, these are all the MIDI controls that this particular instrument has. Um, you know, each one's going to have its own. So um, that's how you route a MIDI channel. Uh, real quick, well, I'll uh, add another one. Do trumpet. Add it, and looks like it it added already. Uh, added it twice. Usually, it takes longer to load. All right. Browse back to your mixer, and you notice that the second bus is activated with the abbreviation of the instrument and the slider up at zero. Again, like before, uh, we'll select an input could do channel one if you want, if the instrument you want to activate with the other one too, but you can do channel two if you want to automate it differently, change its parameters independently. And the output, uh, I'd like a different output because I might want to put a different compressor on that track or that insert, um, you know, a parametric equalizer, you know, just to change it up a little bit because you want to be able to change things independently of one another. It's really, you know, that's what it's all about. All right. And then we already did the settings thing. Still on one. Processing still auto mapped. Remember, and then add MIDI out, additional MIDI out. And the second instrument, known as the trumpet, is on number two. Two. Port one again, this connects the MIDI to the instrument as a whole, or the VST, and then now you want to operate channel two. And control knob, configure. Still have problems finding home row. Number seven. And remember, channel for this knob is going to be the same as the one that you're in. This. Except and oh, you notice I didn't put the abbreviation down, so it just puts the whole thing, the whole name down. And bring up a mixer, and then we'll we'll see. Oops. I accidentally activated the uh, different channel on the channel rack. Let's see MIDI out. Uh, this should be the tuba. It's coming out of insert one. MIDI out two should be trumpet. Coming out of two. All right. 
So that's your MIDI routing in FL. And real quick, I, there's some other, uh, other little things that are probably important, F9 to get rid of that. Um, you're going to make your pattern. Make, oops. Make a truba. I just spelled it, whatever. Just hit the key. My fingers are kind of fat. Um, F7 for the piano roll. And then before you put your notes down, make sure your piano roll is selected to the appropriate MIDI channel. Uh, so this is our, tu our tuba, our truba tuba. MIDI out, one, and then, uh, okay, so this is, uh, these notes are lower octaves, you know, bass clef, not treble clef. All right. Whoops. All right, we're not in, we're not in the key of G. We're in the key of C. Great, it works. Everything is, is honky dory. Another uh, another pattern. Whoops. Gosh, there we go. Trumpet. F7. Or click on the button, whatever you want to do. Whoops. MIDI out number two. Too low for the instrument. Okay. All right. Trumpet, click for your piano. Down the tuba. There. Now they both should be playing. All nice like. All right. Now the reason we did the MIDI out. Um, oh, actually, real quick, if you don't like your Windows switching out, like you wanted to keep that, you wanted to keep this plugin. Um, when you select them from here, if whatever plugin is highlighted disappears, so. If you want to keep that, you just click one you don't want, and then you get your other window to show up, and the other one stays up. All right, so anyway. Get these knobs going. To get to those other MIDI controls, you just browse parameters, F9 to get rid of that, and you know, see what you want to do. And as if you're a little more experienced with FL, you'll uh, already know that you can automate. So those knobs that you assign controls to, you can uh, then automate by going over to tools, last tweaked, create an automation clip, and do this. Oops, it's a little bit long. If you don't want it to be so long, you can highlight it here. Do this, get rid of that, bring this in. Actually, bring this in, that. One will get quieter, one will get louder, just for demonstration purposes. Let's see MIDI out for the tuba. Uh, oh, oh, I'm losing track of my stuff. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, and then this one. Uh, jiggle that. And then you can highlight an area like such. And uh, automation clip. Unnamed parameter. Ah, uh, that's because I didn't name it, but we could do this, like that. So 
So just like that, and you're automating your controls in your MIDI uh, little MIDI channels here that are uh, um, that are activating and, and playing the, the different instruments that you have in your VST. Uh, thank you for watching, and um, please like, comment, and subscribe so that um, you know if you, th if you think other people should should you know come by this information. Thanks for your time.